Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from around the world. Alan from Wall Street to EasyStreet.com. What we're going to take a look at today is the uh, Ninja Trader Market Analyzer. And there's nothing on here that's uh, proprietary in any way. Everything uh, comes standard with uh, Ninja Trader. So this is just a way you can kind of set things up a little bit as you get more familiar with the markets. And uh, to help you decide, you know, what markets you should be trading and which ones you should not be trading. So what we have here is we have uh, the instrument uh, name, the description of the instrument, and the last traded price. And that's all pretty standard that uh, a lot of people use on their market analyzers. What we have here, though, is we have uh, set up whether or not the market is trending or not. So we can see at a glance which markets are trending and which ones are not trending. Since we need a market to uh, trend to make money, the ones that are not trending, there's no reason to even take a look at them. You can skip right over them. So at that point, for example, we can see here on the yen, a futures contract is not trending. No sense even looking at it. So we uh, go down to the euro. We can see that the uh, euro is uh, in a trending market at the moment. Then we go to the next line here, the next column. And that's uh, whether or not it's pulled back enough for an entry. We want to buy on value. Um, basically, we, we, want to, we want to buy at the wholesale prices, not the retail prices. So a good way to do that is uh, buy those pullbacks. So um, we've designated a column here to identify whether or not the market's pulled back or not. So um, again, we're looking at the euro. So the euro, it is trending. And uh, we have a signal to uh, we should be taking a look at it to look for a buy signal so it has pulled back enough to meet our criteria um, this is a stop you want to be able to uh, quickly know about where your stop should be placed this is based on volatility so we're looking at a you know a 24 pip stop so you'll have to adjust your position size to uh, make sure you don't go outside of your uh, um, risk management so that's kind of a nice little feature to have then we have the current range versus uh, what the uh, average range is. And we can see um, currently with the uh, euro, the uh, current range so far at the, at the time this was uh, done was uh, 64 pips with an average range of 118. So that tells us we should easily be able to make about 50 more pips movement before we start running into uh, um, some daily resistance. So that's you know, really important to look at as well. So that's how we can use the uh, market analyzer. We can quickly scan through and see which ones are worth taking a look at and which ones uh, we don't need to look at. So in this case, we're looking at the euro. So uh, same here if you're looking at the, the spot market, which is what I currently have up. So we'll move this aside and we'll see that uh, we are trending up. Get my arrow to work here. All right, we are trending up. Um, we've been making higher highs and uh, higher lows. For the most part, we are uh, now pulled back. So we might consider uh, looking for a buy setup now in this area. And that's just a, a quick, easy way that you can uh, make use of Market Analyzer to speed up your evaluation of the markets. So I hope you all have a good trading day.